Question number 35. Which of the following experiments provides evidence for the existence of matter waves? Matter waves. What is matter wave? Every particle is associated like a wave. Sometimes wave phenomena has been observed. Sometimes particle phenomena is observed. Okay. Now let us look at the first experiment. Scattering of alpha particles. What is this experiment about? Rutherford's experiment. Where do we learn this? We learn this in understanding the atomic model. Okay. Atomic model which describes that most of the atom is completely empty. So this is not this does not de describe anything about the matter waves. Electron diffraction. What do we do? We give electrons, but instead we get a diffraction pattern, which means you have a particle, it becomes a wave. So this is the one which tells you about the matter waves. So B is the right answer. Let us explore the other two also. Gamma decay. What does gamma decay tell you? That is, if you have nucleus in the higher excited states and it jumps to the ground state then a gamma ray photon is being emitted, right? So therefore, this is your energy transition. So this is also incorrect, right? And photoelectric effect. What does photoelectric effect tells you? You have a metal plate, you have photons over here. These photons comes and hits this metal plate. The electrons which are present here will immediately pop out here, which tells us that photon acts, okay? Photon now comes and hits over here. It provides some energy and as a result of it, it pops out the electrons, right? So therefore, so this also does not describe anything about the matter waves over here. So this is also incorrect. 